All right. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Hayyakum Allah. Masa'akum al khair. Well, inshallah, today we're going to be transitioning to part two of lesson four, which is today Al Fi'lul Madi. Al Fi'lul Madi. Everyone say together Al Fi'lul Al Fi'lul Al Madi. Al Fi'lu Al Madi. That means past tense verb. Yeah, past tense verb. Now, Kama Maktub al Sabura, Kama Maktub al Sabura, as it is written on the Sabura, which is Hadathun Waka fi Zamanin Mada. Let's try that together. Hadathun Hadathun Waka fi Zamanin Mada. Try it again. Hadathun An occurrence Waka that has taken place fi What does that mean? Zamanin. What's Zamanin? Time. Yeah? Zamanin. Mada. Everyone say Mada. Mada. Yeah, the dad is a heavy lang. Uh, sorry, heavy harf. Mada means to elapse or go past. Yeah? So, Fitl Mardi as defined here. Hadathun waqa'a fi Zamanin Mada. An occurrence which has taken place in a point in time that has elapsed. It's happened already. For example, ذَهَبَ رَجُلٌ إِلَى الْبَيْتِ A man went to the house. It's taken place already. It's past tense. So write that down. That's a ta'rif. Ta'rif in the Arabic language means... Ta'rif means definition. Yeah? These additional notes are very good, yeah? But it's not... The matlub, it's not requested. If you can write this down, alhamdulillah, but the main... Here. Yeah. Okay. Yeah? That's the definition. I'll try. Bikhat al-Ahmar. Yeah? Red line. Okay, Bismillah. Oh, so many pens here. <clears throat> okay, so last lesson, at Dars al Madi, the previous lesson, Ta'alamna, we learnt Harf al Ta'arif. We learnt about what Harf al Ta'arif? What's Harf al Ta'arif? Definitive or definitive or. Definitive, yeah? Sorry, the definite article. Yeah, Alif Lam, which is, give an example of Alif Lam in a word, anyone? Al Rajulu Al Baytu, which makes it Ma'arifa, which makes it known. If I say to you, Al Rajulu, we all know it's the man, yeah? Okay. And we stopped at Al uh, Alamu Al Mu'annath, La You Know When. So Al Alam Al Mu'annath. La you know one. What does that mean? So basically the following names in your books. Unduru ila kutubikum. Unduru ila kutubikum. Look to your books. Yeah, page what? Twenty? No. Three. He's guessing. Can everyone see those names? Can everyone see those names? Hal Tarona al Asma. Can you see the names? Naam. Nara al Asma. We see the names. All right, everyone read with me now. And don't just repeat because I'll question you. Muhammadun. Jamalun. No, nah, there's no Jamal there. It's only Khalid. You see? All of you, Akhtatum. You made a mistake. Muhammadun. Muhammadun. Jason, Jason, don't write in black pen, only in pencil. Yeah? Muhammadun. Muhammadun. 
خالد جمال نا اي جوت نف ون سي يو نو اي سي ابوت ذا بليفر لا يلدغو من جحر واحد مرتين سي ذا بليفر دونت جيت ستاك ان ذا سيم بليس تويس هي دات ات تويس جيت ام ذا بيج ذير ات از ذير ات از شو ام ذا بيج يا I know who just reads for the sake of reading. It's good though, but <laughs> gotta make sure you're with me. <laughs> All right, and again, Muhammadun, Khalidun, Hamidun, Yasirun, Jamalun. Look at the page, Ikhwa. It's only male names. Can everyone see it now, yeah? Yasirun. Ammarun. Sa'idun. Aliyun. Abbasun. Those are all male names. Now you can see here, they have something called Dammatan or Dammatain, meaning two Dammas. What does that mean? It means basically, it just has two Dammas And if a preposition comes, it will change it to, for example, min Muhammadin, min Abbasin. So min, ila, ala, and fi have an effect on that word. Now we move on to the female names. Now we move on to the female names. Now look at this now, slightly different. Aminatu. Zainabu. Fatima tu, Mariamu, Aisha tu, Khadija tu, Safiya tu, Ruqayya tu. All of those names, كل هذه الأسماء. All of these names here, لا you know when they do not take the matain. La, you know one. That means basically here, la, you know one. Yeah? It doesn't take, it will never ever be Aisha Tun, Safiya Tun. No, they start off with one Dhamma. And they're basically names which are Mamnu'at Min Asarf. What does that mean? New word. Mamnu'at Min Asarf basically means these names do not follow the usual rules which we know. For example, if a preposition comes. If you're confused, don't worry. This is a lot to take on in the beginning. It will make itself more clear as we move on and transition, yeah? So basically, if I put a min in front of aminatu, it becomes aminata. Min aminata. Because a preposition has no effect on these female names except by way of making it with a fatha. It's a rule called la, you know when? Uyudurru bil fathati niyabatan anil kasra. Some, you know, big words in Arabic, don't worry about that. Yujurru bil fatha. So it becomes majroor, meaning it takes a kasra, niyabatan. Sorry. Basically, yujurru bil fatha. So it becomes majroor, niyabatan anil kasra. So basically, it takes a fatha to show it's majroor, to show it has a kasra. So any preposition that comes before those names, any preposition that becomes, you know, uh, put into a sentence, or if it's placed in a sentence, and then Aminatu comes, or Safiyatu, it would be Safiyata or Aminata. That's it. Yeah, don't worry. It doesn't need much of an explanation. Don't worry, we're going to get more into it. Because it doesn't give much of an explanation. Yeah? So, Niyabatan Anil Kesra, it's in substitute of the actual Kesra. Yeah? Don't worry, yeah? All right, let's do this together now. Iqra. Everyone said together. Iqra. Waktub. Ma'adabti. Awakhir al-kalimati. So what does that mean? Well done. Yeah? So we have to now pay attention to what we just learnt. Like the male names with what? Two dhammas. Dhammatan. The female names are with how many dhammas? Yeah. One dhamma, that's it. Hamidun. Zainabu. Next one, Ja'far.
What is it? Aminatu, well done. Ammarun. Sa'idun. What's the next one? Fatima too. One Dhamma, because it's a female name. Maria. Mariamu. Aliun. Khalidun. Abbasun. Aisha. Aisha too. Well done. Muhammadun. Safiya. Safiya too. Khadija. Khadija too, because it's a female name. Next page, well done. All right, now we're learning a bit more when it comes to Tartib al Jumal, construction and the formation of, or how it's formulated a sentence. Al Baytu. Min al Bayti. Al Mashjidu. Il al Mashjidi. So what does that mean, al Baytu? Min al Bayti. From the house. Malikun. Kharaja min al What does that mean? Malik exited the house. Malik kharaja min al Alright. Now, al masjidu ila al What does that mean? Ila al masjidi. Ya akhi, idhab ila al masjid. Well done. Jasim. Dhahaba ila al masjid. What does that mean? Yes. Dhahaba means he went ila to al masjid. All right. So now we're going to read this all together. Naqara al hiwar jama'atan. We're going to read the story together. Malik, qum. We're going to do some reading. Al mudarris. Min aina anta. What does that mean? Where are you from? Muhammad? Muhammadun. Ana min al Yabani. I am from Japan. Wa min aina Ammarun. Where's Ammar from? Huwa min al Sini. Huwa min al Sini. He's from China. وَمِنْ أَيْنَ حَامِدٌ Where's Hamid from? هُوَ مِنَ الْهِنْدِ هُوَ مِنَ الْهِنْدِ And he's from? India أَيْنَ عَبَّاسٌ Where's Abbas? خَرَجَ Kharaja, he exited, meaning he left the place which they were in. Aina Dahaba, where did he go? Aina Dahaba. Dahaba ila al Mudiri. Dahaba ila al Mudiri. He went to the headmaster. Yeah? Wa Aina Dahaba Aliyun. وَأَيْنَ ذَهَبَ عَلِيٌ And where did Aliyun go? ذَهَبَ إِلَى الْمِرْحَاضِ ذَهَبَ إِلَى الْمِرْحَاضِ He went to the Mirhad. Where's the Mirhad? It's a toilet, yeah? Okay, we've got a few things here which have just popped up. خَرَجَ خَرَجَ means to exit. Kharaja is the first fi'l, the first action, verb, that we have come across. Bima'na tala'a, or insarafa. Tala'a means to get out. Insarafa also means to get out, so it has a few synonymous things attached to it. Kharaja means to exit. For example, mathalan, fi jumla mufida, in a beneficial sentence, and this is for those that want a bit extra. رجل خرج عن الموضوع نهائيا رجل رجل خرج عن الموضوع نهائيا the man exit 
where the man exited from the mawdu, the subject nihai, and basically went off topic completely. Methalan, for example, either nahnu natakallam, if we are all speaking, الرجل, that man, kharaja anil mawdu nihaiyan. Yani, he completely went off topic. He exited from the mawdu, which we were talking about, nihaiyan. Nihaiyan means completely. Yeah? That's an you know, additional sentence for those that want that. Uh, okay. Let's move on now. Ajib. Ajib. Anil as'ilati. Al atiya. What does that mean? Ajib means respond to the following questions. Ajib means answer. Ya akhi, ajib. A su'al. Answer the question. All right. Min aina anta. He's asking now, ajib. Or in this case, jama'a, yani ajibu. Yeah, he actually wants you to answer. Who are in Afghanistan? Yeah, so that's why we don't. That's how we answer it. Yeah. Min aina anta? Who are in Somal? All right. A anta min al Philippines? La. Ana min al Somal, for example. Or ana min Pakistan. Or ana min al Afghanistan. So he's asking you, A anta min al Philippines? You say la. أنا من الصومال. I'm from Somalia. من من الصين. من من الصين. Who's from China? Look at the hiwar. انظر إلى الهوار. Look at the conversation. And then, tell me who's from الصين. عمار من الصين. Well done. من أين حامد؟ Where's Hamid from? Huh? So you say Hamidun, Hamidun, Hamidun min al Hindi. Hamidun is from Hind. Aina Zahaba Abbasun. Zahaba Abbasun il al Mirhat? No. Kharaja. You say Abbasun Kharaja. أذهب علي إلى المدير أذهب علي إلى المدير did علي go to the مدير مدير is headmaster that's a new word today ها well done everyone say مدير مدير means headmaster yeah Okay, so we've done the questions. Ajabna anil as'ila. We've answered the questions. Iqra waktub ma'adabti awakhil al kalimat. So we understand read and write. Yeah? With basically putting the very last parts of the words. Yes? As we now say them. All right, he wants to give this one a go. Al ghurfa. Is it al ghurfa tu or ghurfati? Al Ghurfa too. Why? Because it's Alif Lam. Min al Ghurfa ta. Min al Ghurfa ti because of the harf jar. Remember the prepositions? They make the following after it take kesra. Min al Ghurfa ti. From the room. That's a new word. Ghurfatun. Yeah, bi ma'ana hujratun. Yeah, hujratun is another word. Like Surah al Hujrat. Yeah? So, uh, hujratun is another synonymous word for hurfa. You see the reason why it's good to know? Yeah, that chamber. Hujratun. Yeah, also, which means hurfatun. For example, Allah says in the Quran, وهم في غرفات آمنون. Yeah. غرفات is its plural or غرف. All right. Next one. من الحمام. من الحمامي because of the حرف جر. 
So Jurr al ism al ladhi ba'daha bil kasra. It makes that which comes after it take. Kasra, well done. Next one, ya Ja'far. Yeah, we've done that, well done. Al Mirhadu. Next one, ya Ja'far. Ila al Mirhadi. Next one, ya Akh, Bismillah. Al Yabanu, well done, which is Japan. Next one after that. Al Filipino. Al Filipino, well done, which is the Philippines. Next one, ya. Mil al Hindi. And the one after that. Oh, Il Sini. Il Sini. Two. Seen China. اقرأ okay. واكتب. All right, together let's read. So نقرأ جماعة. من أين فاطمة؟ هي من الهندي. Where is Fatima from? She is from. خرج المدرس من الفصل. وذهب إلى المدير. The head teacher exited from the fossil. Fossil is classroom. New word. Fossil is what? Everyone say it together. Fosslun. Fosslun. It also have a, it has another meaning, which is season. Yeah, meaning the season, the type of you know uh, time of year we're in. But we'll get to that, inshallah. ذهب التاجر أو سوري وذهب إلى المديري. What does that mean? وذهب إلى المديري. And he went to the headmaster, meaning the manager or the teacher. Because مدير can mean a few things. Sometimes it can mean manager. Sometimes it can mean like you know, the head teacher. ذهب التاجر إلى الدكان. ذهب التاجر إلى الدكان. What does that mean? Well done. A tajir. We've done tajir before. Well done. Dukan. Well done. <sighs> Sorry. Kharaja Hamidun min al Gurfati. Wa dahaba il al Hammami. Kharaja Hamidun min al Gurfati. Go on and tell us the meaning, Bismillah. Oh. Uh, Hamid exited the room and went to the toilet. Well done. Next page. Almost done. Men kharaja min al fasli. Men kharaja min al fasli. Who exited from the fossil? What's the fossil? No, he's asking a question. That's a su'al. Yeah, it's just an example, but yeah. خرج الطالب من المدرسة وذهب إلى السوق. Everyone knows سوق. Market. Shop in Arabic is بقالة, but if you're talking about supermarket, it's مركز التسوق. No, سوق is actually market. مثلا دار السنة داخل السوق دار السنة the مسجد مسجد دار السنة داخل السوق yeah so the mosque دار السنة is inside داخل السوق yeah uh, مركز التسوق would be supermarket yeah مركز التسوق تسوق means to shop yeah to shop well, we're coming inshallah all right يا أخي بسم الله اقرأ خرج الطالب خرج الطالب من المدرسة وذهب إلى السوق وذا وذهب إلى السوق وجمع السوق أسواق is plural is أسواق I'll give you that now yeah it's not لازم it's not mandatory you take it off what I give it أسواق yeah well done 
All right. Next sentence. Khadija to Minasini. Khadija to Minasini. Wa Khalidun Minal Yabani. Wa Khalidun Minal Yabani. What does that mean? All right. Uh, Ya akhi iqara the last sentence in theory Mhm mm Mhm mm Well done All right next one Everyone say this together Ba 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 means place Yeah what does it mean Place meaning literally He's commanded you to place something. Yeah, أخي ضع الكتس على المكتب. ضع الكتس على المكتب. On the yeah, ضع الكتس. Kets is yeah, like cup. Yeah, زجاجة is glass. But yeah, glass. Yeah. ضع القلم على الأرض. Place the pen on the floor. Yes, yeah, so ضع is a fi'lu amr. Fi'lu amr is? Command. ضع في الفراغ. Faragh is empty space. Yeah? Faragh, everyone write that. Faragh, yeah? This is important. Because these words, they're going to keep coming back. Faragh. Yeah? Faragh. Everyone say Faragh. Faragh. مثلا وقت الفراغ في وقت الفراغ free time يا أخي ماذا تفعل في وقت الفراغ oh brother what do you do in your free time أفعل الخير كثير example yeah what do you do in your free time أفعل الخير كثير I do much good <laughs> yeah okay I want to give up ضع في الفراغ في ما يلي حرف جرد مناسبا فيما يلي حرف جرد مناسبا مناسبا مناسب من سوتبو يا مناسب يا Yeah, so basically, what does that mean, people? Place in the free space, the empty space, fi mayali, that which comes, harfa jarrin. Harfa jarrin is a preposition like min, ila, ala, and fi. Munasiban, the suitable preposition. All right, let's have a go at this. Al kitabu, something, al maktab. What would that be? Is it al maktabi? Or fil maktabi? I'll accept both. Maktab is office. Maktaba with tamarbuta. So al kitabu, let's say al al maktabi for now, yeah? Al kitabu al al maktabi, come on, let's say it. Al kitabu al al maktabi. What does that mean? Or the table is tawilatun. I write that. Tawilatun is table. Yeah? Tawilatun is table. Tawilatun. Everyone say tawilatun. Tawilatun. All right. At talibu something al fossil. What would that one be? Well done. At Talibu. Well done. See now the difference is Fi would be used here, not Allah. Because no Talib is going to be on top of the classroom, is he? He's going to be inside it. At Talibu Fil Fasli. 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 Yeah, set together. Zahaba 
Hamid ila al What does that mean, Malik? Zahaba Hamid ila al Who can help him? What does that mean? Zahaba. Zahaba means he went to go. Let's get that written on the board, yeah? Zahaba. Is that the first time we've taken Zahaba? We've done Zahaba before, sir? To go. Yeah? For example, Masmuka, ya akhi? Masmuka? Ismi? Huh? What's your name? Bila. Bila. So it's me, Bila. Yeah, if I say my name is Bila. Dahaba Bila ila al masjid. Yeah, Masmuka. Muhammadun Dahaba ila al masjid. Yeah, Muhammad went to the masjid. Jasimun Dahaba ila al jamiati. Jasim went to the. No, he went to the university. Jamiatun. Yeah? All right, next one. Kharaja al mudiru something. Al Madrasa. What's that one going to be? Well done. Kharaja al Mudiru mila al Madrasati. Let's say it together. Kharaja al Mudiru mila al Madrasati. Let's try that again. Kharaja al Mudiru. Kharaja al Mudiru. Min al madrasati. What does that mean? Yeah, he exited from the school. All right, and the last one I'll do this. Dahaba Muhammadun min al Sini ila al Yabani. What does that mean? So Muhammad went from China to Japan. Zahaba Muhammadun min al Sini ila al Yabani. So write that down if you don't know the answers, yeah? All right. Al Kalimatu al Jadidatu. Let's say it together. Al Kalimatu al Jadidatu. What does that mean? New words. All right. Ya Muhammad, Bismillah, Iqara al Kalimat al Jadida. Al Madrasatu. What's that? Well done. Next one. Al Faslu. What's that? Well done. Next one. Well done. Ya Akhal Ladi Bijanabihi. The one that's next to him. Al. Al Mirh. Al Mirhadu. What's that? Al Mirhadu. What's Mirhad? Toilet. Next one, keep reading. Al Al Matbahu. Al Matbahu. I want to say it together. Al Matbahu. Al Matbahu. Right, next one. Ya Akh, Ya Raqi, Bismillah. What does that mean? Hold on, next one. Al-Jami'atu, the, um, the, what's it called, university? Mm, so we've got Al-Ghurfatu, which is room. Al-Jami'atu, which is university. Next one. Uh, As-Suqu. As-Suqu, what's As-Suqu? Yeah, Akh, uh, Anta. Yeah. Back to Zalik after that. Uh, Al Yabanu. Al What's Al Yabanu? Al Sinu. Al Hindu. Al Filipino. Al Mudiru. Head teacher or head master. Yeah. Zahaba. Kharaja. So the difference between Zahaba and Kharaja, you use Kharaja to show that he exited and left a vicinity. Zahaba means he went. Yeah, Zahaba normally means like he went. 
to go somewhere. Kharaja normally, you know, is indicative of the fact that he was once in a place which was mentioned, then he exited from it. For example, Bilal fil masjid. Bilal fil masjid. Bilal in the Kharaja Bilal min al masjid. Bilal exited the masjid. Yeah? So today, al-yawm, fi hadh al this evening, fi hadh al we've learned fi, which means ala, which means min, which means ila, which means okay. And also we've done the asma al muannatha basically the female names, la, you know when. They don't take two dhammas. You only have one dhamma or one fatha. That will come later. Don't worry if you didn't understand that. And those names, hadhi la asma, mamnu'a min asarf. Basically, those names, those female names, they're mamnu'a min asarf. Meaning, they do not, in this case, uh, take the same rulings as male names, the ones just mentioned, like Muhammad Abbas and what have you. Don't worry, that will come up later. This will come back to us, yeah? But the main thing to know today is al-fi'l al-madi. Which is fi'l al-madi? What's that? Past tense verb. Such as? Zahaba and? Kharaja. That's a fi'l al-madi. And we mentioned? Hadath al-waqa'a fi zaman al An occurrence which has taken place in a time span which has elapsed or passed. That's what the definition of fi'l al-madi is. And yeah, fi ala min ila min huruf al-jar. When the taxi, uh, sorry, when the taxi has the quadrant with Safai said, Jazakum al khair, that's today's lesson done. Next lesson, inshallah, Dars al Khamis. But also, I forgot to mention, on our Saturday lesson, we take a hadith every Saturday. I don't know if you're aware. So the first hadith we took from the first lesson on Saturday, which is the book of Al Qira'a, was Kullu ma'rufin. كُلُّ مَعْرُوفٍ صَدَقَةٌ Every act of is charity. Every act of goodness is charity. What was the hadith after that? الْحَيَاءُ كُلُّهُ خَيْرٌ Let's all say it together. الْحَيَاءُ كُلُّهُ خَيْرٌ Shyness, all of it is good. Let's try it again. الْحَيَاءُ كُلُّهُ خَيْرٌ yeah, that's our second hadith. So next, or oh, this Saturday, we'll take a new hadith. So we'll try to throw some narrations of the Prophet ﷺ in our lessons. Wa jazakum Allahu khaira. Assalamu alaikum.